So you've made it all the way from Arizona to the Scottish Highlands for a once in a lifetime drone adventure to get some shots of the pointy mountain. The sun is shining, you can't believe your luck. You take that panorama and the result is pretty good, but it's just a little bit flat. You were hoping for more. If only there was an easy way of replacing that sky with one click so you can play around with some creative options and see if you can get a better result. Well, look at some of these results. You can do that. The piece of software in question is Luminar 4. It has absolutely blown my mind and that is what we are going to be talking about in this tutorial. Luminar 4 is the software in question, but it's worth pointing out that although we are talking about the insane artificial intelligence functionality of sky replacement today, it's a fully fledged piece of editing software that gets you all the way from beginner level through to professional level. And if you think the artificial intelligence on sky replacement is cool, wait till you see what it can do with portraits. Anyway, let's jump into this and I'll show you how to do this. Here we are inside Luminar 4. Let me show you just how easy this is. File, edit a single image. Pointy Mountain Zero, that looks as good as any. Open that. There we go. Right, on the right hand side here, let's go to the Creative tab. AI Sky Replacement already selected. As you can see, there are some other options down below. Sky Selection, let's look at some of the preset preloaded skies that we have on offer. Dramatic Sunset 3, that sounds fun. Stop the clock, we are done. Seriously, it's that easy. There must be a catch. I hear you say probably it's quite rubbish. Well, let's zoom in and have a look. Nope. It looks absolutely perfect. Let's have a look down here. Absolutely incredible. And I'm not just saying that. It is just awesome. What else? Let's look at some of the other options here. Dramatic Sunset 5. Very nice, very subtle. I like that one a lot. Let's go a little bit crazy. Let's see if we can replace it with a night sky. Let's take Galaxy 1. Yeah. Night sky photo. Now, yes, of course, this is completely cheating and you can't present yourself as a night sky photographer if you do this. But if you're doing a poster, an album cover, some kind of commercial project where the authenticity of the end result does not matter, look how easy that was. Particularly great function here. If you look on the right hand side, we have Relight Scene. Now this is where Luminar uses its AI functionality to adjust the original image to blend in with the sky's lighting. So if we turn that to zero, there's no attempt whatsoever to blend the two. If we turn it all the way up, we start to darken the image and that gives a much more realistic result. So in this image, I would go all the way up to here something like that for that kind of night sky landscape that corresponds properly with the sky itself. It's just, it's just amazing. Now I hear you say that's a super easy example. Even in Photoshop, I could just cut around the mountains pretty easily and replace the sky with relatively limited experience. Let's look at a more complicated example to see how it gets on. So file, edit single image. Let's go for Castle Lachlan. Castle in the Scottish somewhere. We filmed a wedding up here and this is a nine photo panorama stitched together actually on the Mavic 2 Pro. And it's interesting, you know, it's quite simple on the left hand side of the image, but here on the right hand side, you can see it all gets a little bit complicated with these trees and I certainly don't fancy trying to cut that out in Photoshop. I don't particularly like the composition, so let's just quickly correct that. We'll go up to crop here and let's just pull this into something like this. Let's see what that looks like. Done. Okay, slightly better. The sky's more prominent, castle's more of a focal point. Sky selection. Now, one of the cool things you can do in this is you can load your own custom skies because we don't want the internet to be filled with millions of images of people using the same skies. So, load a custom sky image. Here I have some of my own skies. So, let's try Sunset 2. Pretty dramatic stuff. Let's see how that goes. Not too bad, not too bad, looks pretty smart. What I don't like here is the fact that the landscape just doesn't really match the color of the sky. So I'm going to go into Relight Scene and I'm gonna pull this all the way up and look at the pink kind of sunsetty 
image that we've got now on the landscape. Horizon position as well. I think I'll bring these clouds down a bit. Now we're talking. That looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? Now as for the original point of this test, let's look at these trees. How did it do in these trees? I'm going to zoom all the way in for you pixel peepers. 600%. Look at the way the sky has got into all those branches. That is just unbelievable. It's weaving its way through the trees there. <sighs> I don't have any words for this. I just think it is so much fun and so useful as well at the end of the day. It's up to you as I'm going to keep saying to do this in a discreet, tasteful fashion, but if it's done properly, the results are absolutely outstanding. Let's look at the before and after on this one. Look at this, this cool image to this. A complete transformation. That is just insane. I'm going to show you another example where I think the sky replacement is really useful. So edit a single image. In this instance, we're going to go for cable car Lightroom export. What you're looking at here is a screen grab from video footage taken on the Insta360 ONE X camera. Fantastic little 360 camera we've featured on this channel. But if you're taking a screen grab from video footage, you can't expect too much in terms of picture quality and as you can see here in the sky we've lost some detail and despite my best efforts to recover all that in Lightroom there's only so much you can do so let's replace the sky. Sky selection, let's take dramatic sunset 3. Does that look good? I think that does actually look reasonably smart to be honest with you. Well, okay, for the purposes of this example, let's go with this. Let's go into advanced settings. One thing you can do here in advanced settings is you can play around with the sky temperature. So in this instance, you can maybe warm it up a little bit just to blend it in with the oranges in the background there. I think if we take it all the way down, no, well, <laughs> that looks okay as well. So these are creative decisions that you can make. But let's go with this for now. And look at the way it just cuts its way around all of these obstructions in the image here. So if I zoom in here, there's no doubt whatsoever that that sky is just going to cut its way around this cable car. It's quite stunning. And I think in that instance, we have yet another application for it where your camera, let's say you've got iPhone photos or something like that, and they just haven't done a perfect job and given you professional results. Replace the sky and have some fun. It's just, you know, whether or not you're doing this at a professional level or an amateurish level, it is great fun. I think you can tell I'm a massive fan of this software. Yes, we have a relationship with Skylum, the company that produces Luminar 4, but we would never compromise our integrity here on the channel and recommend to you something that is rubbish. This is not rubbish, it's fantastic, so do check it out. If you use the discount code Drone Film Guide at the time of purchase, using the link below, you will save yourself some pennies. On the subject of money, an obvious alternative to something like this would be a Lightroom Photoshop combination. Use Lightroom to edit your photos, then take them into Photoshop to deal with the sky or do some cool stuff on the portrait and remove imperfections in the skin and all that kind of stuff. A couple of things there. Lightroom Photoshop runs on a monthly subscription payment model. That's not to everyone's taste. And in the course of about six, seven, eight months, you will have paid for your Luminar 4 purchase. Second of all, there's a tremendous learning curve required on Photoshop and the functionality that you have in Photoshop, much as it is extraordinary, most of us don't need anything like that kind of capability. My own personal journey with Photoshop is I've spent many a day trying to get on top of it and I'll spend a whole afternoon trying to get an image only to get a mediocre outcome that just doesn't look as good as I was expecting. If I had the expertise to do it, it'd be fine, but I don't. So. For a lot of us, this level of software is just perfect. It just gives us that right amount of functionality in a user-friendly way without costing that much money and without getting us bogged down in a lifetime learning in the likes of Photoshop. Just my own personal experience, you might have had a different journey. I'm sure some of you are fantastic at Photoshop. I'm not. Anyway, 
have some fun, check out the link in the description below. I think you can do a free trial with it as well, so there's no downside to checking it out. And do feel free to share your results and let me know how you get on. Until next time, happy flying.